Welcome back to the Drivers Hub and today is the big day. We are going to be revealing our brand new project car. And well, this is it. The Suzuki Celerio. It gets a 1 liter 3 cylinder naturally aspirated engine with an AMT gearbox. I'm just kidding. The new car is right behind those glass doors over there and I think we should check it out now. So this is it. This is my new 2015 Skoda Octavia 1.8 TSI. It comes with a DQ200 transmission. Like I said, the 1.8 TSI engine, but this is the E888 Gen 3. So it can push out much more power. And yeah, let me tell you about this car in more detail. So let's start off with the mods that this car has already, because as you can see, it's not a stock Octavia 1.8. So first of all, it gets this really nice looking VRS front bumper with the hexagonal grill and all of that. Even the lights have been tweaked a little bit. It has these red glowing stuff. I don't know. It looks kind of weird. I want to remove this at some point, but the headlights have also been upgraded. Uh, you get some 18 inch wheels which have been upsized from the stock which is either 16 or 17 depending on the model and these are also not really good rims. AME wheels, I don't know even know the brand. So not very nice, I don't even like the look so these are going to get swapped out. The tyres are pretty good, pretty new also. Uh, some really nice Continental CS uh, SC5 tyres, Sport Contact 5 tyres just like my old car. Uh, the rear bumper also has a couple of tweaks done. It has a diffuser and two outlets uh, for an exhaust system. And when it comes to mechanical changes, it also has a couple of mechanical things done. For example, it gets an intercooler from a VRS 245 and the exhaust system is from a VRS 245 as well. So I already have the dual exit setup ready for it. So I just have to put on tips and you know probably change the downpipe and everything when I start doing the build. Uh, apart from that, the main problem with the Octavia 1.8 is that it comes with the DQ200 transmission. Now, this transmission is pretty notorious for mechatronic and DSG failures and all of that stuff. But we have kind of solved that problem to an extent with the Kevlar race clutch that this thing has. So, you know, when we're pushing big amounts of power, this thing will not fail. So. That is another very essential upgrade that the DQ200 needs if you want to actually do a build with it. And apart from that, yeah, it's pretty much a stock car. No tune, no crazy loud exhaust system, no intake, nothing of that sort. What we are going to do with it is uh, going to go full state three with an IS20 turbo. You can find an IS20 turbo in cars like the VRS 230. So that is an upgrade for this car because it gets an IS12 from factory. Uh, I'll be doing a downpipe IS20 turbo, sta stage 3 ECU and TCU tune. Uh, we'll be changing the wheels as well. We'll be putting on bigger brakes. Uh, the suspension already has been kind of modified and tweaked. Uh, it's currently sitting on Euro spec suspension, which sits a little lower and it's a little stiffer, but the ride can still be compliant. So that's a really good mod in my opinion as well. And yeah, the car looks absolutely fantastic in uh, magic black, which is the stock color of the Octavia 1.8. So yeah, after a nice little detail, interior polish and everything, this thing will look absolutely amazing. Uh, let's head out for a quick drive and I'll tell you more stuff while driving. So this thing from factory itself, it's pretty, pretty rapid. It gets the EA Triple Eight Gen 3 1.8, like I said, and stock, I think so it makes 190 bhp and yeah i can go pretty wild on the build with like an is38 and you know all wheel drive and all of that stuff but you know sometimes you have to be realistic i don't want to spend a bucket load of money on this car and when i want to upgrade to something else probably one or two years down the line I should be able to sell this car and most of the times you know the problem with tuned cars and cars that have been worked on is that they put the owners put in a bucket load of money and you know props to them because sometimes you are just that passionate and you know you want to do all of that but I want to be smart with my money I want to experience as many cars as possible when it comes to ownership so you know probably one or two years down the line I want to upgrade to something bigger uh, so yeah, I don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money on this car. So that's why this particular car seemed to be the best choice because it because it has the RTMG Kevlar race clutch 
when I bought it. And that thing is almost 1.5 lakh rupees if you want to buy it new. It has a VRS245 intercooler, again, probably around 1 lakh rupees. The VRS245 exhaust system, probably another, let's say, 40 to 50 grand. It gets the upsized wheels and tires. The tires for this thing, the SC5 uh, tires, again, probably around 1 lakh rupees because tires have shot up. So, this thing gets a lot of kit basically the way I bought it. So, you know, it's totally worth it. Now, I'm not going to be disclosing all of the money that I'm going to spend, how much I've bought this car for in this particular video. Maybe at the end of the whole build, we can do like a sit down video of the build breakdown of what costs what and all of that stuff. And yeah, this is, this is very, very fun to see a new project car on the channel. This is the direct LoRa TSI replacement that I have. I know on the story, you know, we asked you guys as to what should we get as a temporary build car, you know, till we get the proper big one. But I was just like, screw it. We'll just get a good car and, you know, work on it. Because my initial plan was to get a VRS 230 or, you know, something around the 20 lakh rupee range. But that meant I'm basically giving all of my money to you know one single car and that's not a very good financial decision so i bought this for let's say half the price less than half the price so smooth zero drama the laura was drama filled i mean Anywhere near the throttle, it used to make insane amounts of noise. You know, the traction control kicking in, it was like gunshots. This thing is relatively sedate at the moment, at least. Uh, and yeah, I don't want to put on a crazy exhaust system. I want to be as low key as possible. Plus, the car is black. So, full stealth mode. You know, we're not going to be messing around too much. So, this is going to be a fun, fun build. And I want to see what sort of cars this thing can keep up with. So, exciting times coming up ahead. Subscribe to the channel because Project Octi is going to be a thing very, very soon. All of the parts for this thing are already on its way. In fact, the turbocharger is already with me at the Mechanics Automotive. And yes, we are going to be building this car for the first time. An in-house TDH car is going to be built at the Mechanics Automotive from the start, from scratch. So we are going to try to do a lot of interesting things like I really want to personally get my hands dirty and you know fit the turbocharger, fit the downpipe, do everything as much as possible by myself and let's see how I can do it. Probably I'll have to take some sort of permission from Anirudh for that because yeah I'm pretty incompetent with the spanner and a wrench. So do subscribe to the channel, let us know what we should do with this new project car that we have and yeah stay tuned.